Okay, in this video, let's discuss with you matching the sentence beginning with endings. Here we have four questions. It's taken from passage four. Uh, the questions, the other questions, yes or not given, and multiple choice questions we discussed it in the previous videos. Now we'll discuss with you the last questions, the last four questions, matching sentence beginning with endings. These questions are often given in order. Pay attention, the word often means uh, not always, usually, but not always. Sometimes they may change the order, but in many cases they are given in order. What you have to do, again, you don't need to read and understand the whole passage. It's not necessary. It's complete waste of time and energy. You have to underline the key words in the questions and find the relevant part of the passage and read this part very carefully. So question 11, the film Minority Report illustrates. So I don't need to read the whole text. I only need to find the word Minority Report. And I have an advantage here. My advantage, the word Minority Report is not paraphrased. It will be given like the say of Minority Report because it's the name of a report. I have already found the answers and underlines. Pay attention, the answer to question 11 is given here. But question 9 and question 10 were given in the next paragraph. So you may ask why they are not coming in order. Why question 11 is not given after question 10. Sometimes it happens because questions 10, 9, they were yes or not given questions from a new question type. They started from an earlier paragraph, from this paragraph from this paragraph. It's okay, but pay attention. If question 11 answers are given here, question 12, as you see, it's here. Question 13, question 14 will be given later in the next paragraphs. Anyway, one question types so will be given in order. Okay, so let's read the relevant part of 11, which I already highlighted. In the futuristic movie, Minority Report, here I, have, uh, I underlined, the main character stands in front of a screen and hunts through huge amounts of information as if conducting an orchestra. I'll read the next sentence also to make sure that I have understood correctly. Just, at, just uh, as it seemed strange five centuries ago to see someone read silently, in the future it will seem strange to read without moving your body. Okay, very interesting. So in this film, they show that one person stands in front of a screen. Imagine there is a big screen and that they are hunting through huge amounts of information and they're using their hands, their body, as if they are conducting a big orchestra. Okay, let's read from the choices. A. Accuracy of information? No, there's nothing about correctness of information. We need a choice, we need an option which says like, it illustrated how people read information or will, will read information in the future using their body movements. B. People's ability to concentrate? No, it's not given. The global use of the internet at all. Internet is not given. How people behave physically when they read screens? Exactly. That's the exact option which we need. Because they said that like, People will be standing in front of a screen and like in conducting a big a musical group, they will be using bodily actions, movements. That's why this is D, how people behave, behave physically when they read screens. Question 12. Our behavior when we watch a film shows. Well, if you remember when we saw the previous questions, there was a comparison between uh, reading a book, reading a manual for a device, and watching a film with friends. It's given here. I have already numbered 12. For example, we review a movie for our friends while we watch it. So we're watching a, watching a movie and we review it while we're watching it. Uh, we read the owner's manual of a device we see in a shop before we purchase it. So, uh, they're comparing it. When you buy an instrument or a device, you read the manual before buying it, but when you watch a TV or a film on the TV, you review it while you're watching for your friends. So let's choose a curious of information. No. Ability to concentrate. No. The global use of the internet. No. The screen's ability to make an object seem real. Well, interesting. Screen's ability? No, no, no. It's not given. How rapidly opinions can be communicated? Yes, that's exactly the answer which I need. Because when we watch a film, 
while we are watching it, we review the film for our friends. We review a film, it means we tell, we express our opinions on the film, our feedback on the film, and we communicate it with our friends while we're watching it. Maybe we send them on the internet. So that's option F. Wikipedia success relies on question sorting. So Wikipedia is keyword. Wikipedia is not paraphrased and it's my advantage because I will find the same word in the passage. Wikipedia is given here after 10. Wikipedia works so well because it removes an error in a single click. Okay, so Wikipedia is so successful because it eliminates errors very quickly in a single click. Okay, so let's find from the options. From the options. Accuracy of the information. Exactly this is option A. Or let's see, okay. People's ability to concentrate, not given global use of the internet, not given to the screen's ability to make an object seem real, not not it's not given. This is only A. So Wikipedia is successful because of its accurate information, because any information can be corrected and incorrect one can be eliminated with just a single click. That's why the option A is correct. Question 14. Webkins is an example of. Okay. Webkins is a keyword, is an example of what? My advantage is Webkins is not perforated. So I will not read the previous paragraphs, not necessary. I will just read after answer 13. So it's here, I have all the highlights. It is as if the screen displays the object's intangible essence. A popular children's toy, Webkins, instills stuffed animals, animals with a virtual character that's hidden inside. A screen enables children to play with this inner character online in a virtual world. Okay, so there is a popular toy, which is called Webkins, and uh, these stuffed animals, stuffed animal it means a toy, they have a virtual character and with the help of a screen children can play with this character in a virtual world. Okay, we have only a few options left. We have B, people's ability to concentrate, not given. Global use of the internet, not given. We have E, only option left. The screen's ability to make an object seem real. That's the exact answer which I need because it was said in the text that the webcam's toys, they have a character, a virtual character. Uh, on the screen, children can play with this virtual character. So it means this is E, screen, screen's ability to make an object seem real. This is option A, E. So this is all for matching sentence beginning with endings. It, as you have seen, the answers to these questions are given in order and I use it paraphrasing the synonyms of the keywords while I found the correct answers. So thank you for watching.